Ahead of the Labor Day celebrations, organized labor have been near unanimous in their resolve to oppose a revised attempt by government to include pension funds in a debt restructuring program. When the workers took turn to march past the president, their message was clear. Organized labor was not interested in anything that hampers their pensions. In line with the theme for this year's celebration, protecting incomes and pensions. Secretary General of the Trades Union Congress, Dr. Yao Ba, did not mince words in calling out government over its refusal to cut down on its size while insisting on building a cathedral. We believe that government can lead us out of this crisis by cutting all non-essential expenditures, including the need to stop spending our hard-earned revenue on the National Cathedral. I'm sure the President will have something to say about this, but we disagree. In fact, comrades, it will be better to convert the project into a national hospital. The President, however, had good news. Ghana had met all the necessary requirements to finally receive board approval from the IMF. We we'll continue to work tirelessly to complete all prior actions required to present Ghana's program to the IMF Executive Board for approval. We have also made substantial progress on the debt exchange program as well as on our engagements with bilateral creditors to secure financing assurance required for the IMF program. We are assured that the next round of meetings of the Paris Club will result in the formation of official creditor committee, inclusive of China, and the provision of financing assurance. The IMF and the World Bank have been very supportive in this journey. With the progress made so far, we expect the IMF board to consider Ghana's program for imminent approval. 